years, but until this moment had no idea what their manager looked like. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. A meeting in Uwe Rosler's office, just the start of a special day for Brian Casey. He's severely sight impaired, but for the first time since the 80s, he can see every ball being kicked. 27 years ago, I come to watch a football match, couldn't see the pitch, couldn't see the players, but very scared of the ball hitting me in the face, I had to duck or hide behind someone, so having these e-sight glasses, hopefully tonight I'll be able to see the ball coming towards me and run out the way. He's the first in Europe to wear e-sight glasses, which capture images, translate them for Brian's impairment, and then transmit them back to the lenses. He earned them through his work for the Envision charity, where he helped helps other sight-impaired people keep their independence. A battle he faced after two accidents exactly one year apart. I had a squash racket in one side of my head and the other eye, I was playing five-a-side football, the ball hit me in the face, broke my cheekbone and went up into the other eye and now you can see properly again and I, I describe it as a bit like being in a sweet shop when I first tried them on because it was all them visual images coming into my eyes and into my brain. That included his wife, Beverly, who's also sight impaired, but could sense Brian's delight at seeing her for the first time. After him losing his eyesight, you know, how it's actually affected him and what he's took away from him, it was just an incredible moment. And he says, you're absolutely beautiful, even more beautiful than he was expecting, so that's good. <laughs> you'll take that, won't you? Oh, I'll definitely take that. Maybe I've paid him to say that, but... <laughs> Now, Brian knows you're going to be curious as to how severe his visual impairment is. So he's brought along these glasses, which he says are a good visual representation. This has been Brian's view of the world every day for 27 years. Imagine how it'll feel to get the full picture again. Hi there. First game in 27 years. Come 27 years ago, I couldn't see a blimmin' thing. I can see you all play now and when you score a goal. For decades, he's been deprived of seeing the ordinary. Suddenly, he had an exclusive view behind the scenes. Ooh, that's close. And then his dream moment, seeing his team score a goal. <laughs> of course, there are things a football fan would rather not see, like the five goals your rivals score in reply. Oh. Oh, no. And yet, Brian kept smiling. Explain to us how exciting that was. Yeah, it was just absolutely awesome, wasn't it? Seeing the ball go in the back of the net, numbers and the players' names on the shirts. I can see the green on the grass. It's just absolutely amazing. It is all them visual images coming at once. Uh, I'm so pleased for him and for his family uh, that he now has a chance to see the world, the wonderful world, and hopefully uh, we will see him week in, week out. And you know what they're going to say now, don't you? They're going to say you're a jinx. <laughs> yeah, I won't be allowed to come to any Fleetwood matches anymore, will I? <laughs> But no defeat could take away from such a personal victory. Chris Hall, ITV News, Fleetwood.